name is Annabella. I'm a Spark Scholar. My name is Tommy and I am a Spark Scholar. My name is Maxim and I'm a Spark Scholar. I'm a Spark Scholar. I am a Spark Scholar. The students here have got a real opportunity to be the very best that they can be. We have seen a massive gap in the South African education market. We believe we created a model that can actually be expanded and scaled across the whole country. We want our students not only to receive high quality education on the standards that have already been set by other schools, but at the international level. Parents are now choosing to vote with their feet and they're choosing private schools as opposed to getting free government schooling. Spark does one thing, it'll, be, it'll make people question and compete in the education landscape. We found a model in the US that we've now replicated to a degree in South Africa and it's a blended learning model that allows us to provide really low cost education but providing really high quality. We, we try to figure out how do you make the total cost of education not only at the school but on those little kind of fringe activities also more affordable. So for stationery, we decided to do everything centrally. So the school provides the stationery for the child. Parents do not need to go and buy any stationery and it's provided for them at the school. Instead of going with the traditional uh, grey, shorts, white uh, shirts uniform we went for, a slightly more modern look, uh, white tacky that can be used for sport and, and school. It was all designed that it could be reusable and not necessarily stand out as school um, uniform. But we still wanted to have a sense of pride instilled. So it's definitely a fusion between traditional uniform and reusable kind of clothing. In this model, kids receive the majority of their instruction in a traditional classroom. So they're with their teacher, about 25 of them, to a classroom. Then they spend one hour of every day in the learning lab. The learning lab is a spot where learners get to work by themselves on the computers and what they do is they pace themselves basically on whatever program, there are two programs, the maths and the, and the literacy one, and that is a great time where they put into practice what they learn in class. So it helps us to understand how kids are learning, what they've mastered, where their teacher might be useful in the classroom to fill their gaps in knowledge. And something that's really important to us at Spark Schools is making sure that we're constantly using data to drive our instruction. And the Learning Lab is one way that we can integrate lots of different points of data to help our teachers. We value very much the development of our teachers in the interest of student achievement. So from pre-service training that our teachers receive, um, then throughout the year, they will receive 250 hours of professional development. And that is actually the equivalent of what teachers at other schools would receive in a decade. All of our staff are seen at least once a week in, in terms of lesson observations and have a, um, a coach within the system and weekly feedback. Here we want our teachers to be better every single year and we want the systems of the school to support the teachers, not to drain the teachers. So we believe very strongly that if our teachers are constantly reflecting on, on their practice and improving their practice, um, that they'll be more invested as, as leaders for transformational change in this movement for educational equity and that um, they will be serving their students better um, in the classroom. At Spark, we have five Spark core values. They are service, persistence, um, achievement, responsibility, and kindness. We integrate that into our every morning. So at Spark Slide, children recite the creed um, so that it's kind of the foundation for all the learning that's going to happen during the day. We have a very strong culture of promoting the core values and going back to our core principles during the lessons. At least half your work is, is about character development and having and the core values tie in a lot of um, character work. So it's something that's just continually um, interwoven throughout the fabric of our, our students' days. We teach not only um, the academics, but we also teach character development. And the two aren't divorced from one another. It's not just like we're teaching persistence. It's persistence through 
rigorous work. It's teaching character through the academics. We have an extended day here. Um, our days run through for our grade R's until 3.20 and for our grades 1 and 2 till 4 o'clock and there is a strong emphasis on focusing on literacy and numeracy. We require our kids to speak in full sentences because we know that successful adults don't speak in fragments. And it will help them um, to be successful in university and beyond. One of the things that you'll see in every Spark classroom is a behavior chart. All of the kids are responsible for the choices that they make and each child has a, a peg. They are responsible for moving their, their peg. One of the major factors in making a school successful is parent involvement. So um, we encourage parents to be fully involved in the school. We encourage 30 hours a year of parent involvement where they can really come and do stapling, photocopying, laminating, whatever they would like to do. I love being involved in my child's education. I can come in to sit in the class, I can take homework with my child, I can come in and just monitor what's happening in the grounds. Clearly we want our students to achieve the very best that they can be and you want them to think about um, you know, in terms of aspiration going as far as they possibly can go. But there is another side to education which is the sort of the holistic education and the wraparound to, to the learning in the classroom. So you're wanting to create young people who are going to go on and be successful adults, responsible citizens. Being at Spark Schools is absolutely magical. I fully believe in, in the potential of Spark Schools to change, fundamentally change, the South African um, education landscape. Not only are we providing a sustainable, um, affordable model of education, we're doing so at the highest academic level. We are providing the best education. We didn't even know what jobs are going to exist um, in 20 years time when these kids hit the market. But we do know that they go with collaboration, thinking skills, maturity, that they can, they can be leaders in what, whatever's out there in 20 years time. We're not just about creating academically bright individuals, but really about the whole being, because we feel that schools can really start changing society, and if we create great individuals and great human beings, that would really create a ripple effect across the country. We're disrupting the market, we're showing it how it can be and what is actually possible. On one hand, I want to see Nobel laureates and doctors and lawyers, but on the other hand, I want to see driven artists and caregivers. I want to see spark scholars that are contributing to society and changing it. My name is Tabu, and I am a spark scholar. And I'm a spark scholar. My name is Maxim, and I'm a spark scholar. My name is Maxim, and I'm a spark scholar.